Okay guys, you know who it is, it's Coach So we're back, hopefully going through examples of decision making questions in terms of evaluating conclusions and assumptions. So let me not bore you, let's get straight into the questions because that's what you're here for. And okay, so with me on the iPad. So now let's go on to the second question. So hopefully let's just read it together. At the end of the year, the teacher of class 3A must decide on two people to award the prize to be awarded a with a price, I should say. I'm shambolic at reading. However, there is a criteria that needs to be met for the price this year. The winner must not have received the price last year, must be meeting their target grades, as well as have an attendance of above 95%. The teacher may also decide not to give the prize due to bad behavior. You won't be able to underline in the exam, but this is just to show you what sort of things you're looking for. Now, the first statement says that Anna has 98% attendance and did not receive the price last year. Anna must be able to receive the price. Now that's just one condition and we know that there's three conditions so let me just underline that the minute must not she's fulfilled condition one she hasn't or we do not know she's fulfilled condition two or three so by default we know that this will be a no. Ben received the price three years ago has 100% attendance and constantly meets his grade. His teacher is always speaking highly of him, of his behavior. Ben must be able to receive the price. We know so he fulfills condition three and constantly meets his grade, so he fulfills condition two. His teacher always speaks highly of his behavior, so he must fulfill condition four as well. Let me just underline that and the three goes to that as well. And Ben must be able to receive the price. Now, the first statement says that he's received the price three years ago. However, the winner must not have received the price last year. Just because you received the price three years ago doesn't mean necessarily that you didn't receive it the year prior. So we are unsure about this one as well because he might have received it last year. We just don't know. We've been told a section of information. So that's why I'm saying it's very picky. It's a very difficult Part and usually people score a little bit lower in this section in comparison to AR and QR. Now conclusion number three says Kali did not receive the prize last year. That should say prize and it says price. That's my fault. But her grades have been falling recently despite her being well behaved last year. Kali cannot be eligible for the prize. Kali did not receive the prize last year. So that does make her eligible according to condition one. Let me just, that's, that's condition one right there but her grades have been recently falling despite her being well behaved in class. That's condition four. Kali cannot. So this is a definitive statement. If one of the conditions are broken, it means that she would not be able to be eligible for the price. We have only been told that condition two is, we're not sure about that. She's saying that her grades have been falling despite her being well behaved in class. Now, it just depends on what her target grades are. So it says here, she must be meeting her target grades. If she got A star at the beginning of the year and she's been falling from an A star to a B, but her target grade was a C, she could still be meeting her target grades. Hence, to say that she cannot be eligible would be wrong as well, so that would be a no. So conclusion number four says that Dylan is eligible. Wow, 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 I should say eligible. Eligible for the price this year. His attendance must be at least 95%. Now with statements like this, you just know it's too short and it probably has something to trick you. So I'm guessing that we should look at at least 95%. So we go back to condition three must have above 95%. So this goes back to the other conditions that I mentioned about most at least, and we know that for him to be eligible for the prize, his attendant must be, that's incorrect because it has to be above 95. If it's at least, it could include 95. However, that's not one of the conditions. Now it says here, statement number five, it says, Eleanor received the prize last year, or prize last year. She must have had over 95% attendance last year. Now, at the end of the year, we go back, we read the passage one more time on the two people to be awarded with a prize. However, there is criteria for this year, this year. Now, I'm gonna highlight that in a different color just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This year, 
is very very specific we do not know the criteria that was used in the year before so hence we do not know but potentially it could be that the attendance to receive the prize last year was 85 percent we do not know that hence we're told half of the story so it's vital that you're able to look for a loophole and try to see whether that would be possible and i believe all of the answers here are no's so it's not necessarily the case that three out of five will be yes and two out of five will be no or that four will be no and one will be yes it could be that the case that all of them are wrong so with these questions if you get five and hopefully let me just go down just to explain this to you if you get five let me five questions right or five of the conclusion right you will get two marks if you get four you'll get one mark and three or below if you get three or below you'll be left with zero marks so that's why it's very important that you leave these sort of questions to the end because the last thing you want is to spend time on a question that you're not even sure that you bagged those marks. It's all about practice and exposure to these questions. As you have seen, it's not too hard to solve these questions. It just comes with a lot of practice. The aim is to do at least 100 to 200 of these questions before your exam so that you have familiarized yourself and you're able to answer this in a faster time. Now, if you guys have liked the video in two ways, via the liking as well as the other way, luckily for you, I have the first completed online UK CAT free course available for you that's over four hours plus. Now, the way to access this is to use my referral code in the description box. It gives you two months free on Skillshare and hopefully that should really, really help you. If you have very minimal time, I have an ebook that is present in the link description and that's my killer 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 tips essentially i explained them in the video but there are some tips in there that i haven't really explained basically catch you guys on the other side Why is it hard?